So, what is up guys? So, super exciting news today. We got our hands on the Humidigi F2. Brand new in the box. So, as you can see, it's uncut open. It just came into the mail today with the U-Watch 3 that I got. So, you know, you can see it's got running Android 10 Helio P70 processor. 6 gigabyte of RAM, 2 nano SIM, and 1 TF card, 5150 million amp battery, 6.53 inch HD plus display, um, a 48 megapixel camera, rear, um, you can read it, all the bands, including band 12 and 71, that's a huge plus with the FT Mobile. And basically almost all the bands um, in the US, uh, which you hardly will find on most budget devices because most budget devices slack out on these bands. And uh, it's great to see that Humidigi bringing in those bands. And there's a U-Watch 3. So if you watch my other video, you can um, see my unboxing video on that. But here we go. This is the highlight of this video. So here you go. So we can cut this open. Oh, gee. So obviously, this is signature welcome card. Not too much to read here. They just thank you for being, uh, you know, supportive of their software and their phones. So here is the phone. So a lot of people say how heavy it is. It does have a um, heavy feel to it. It definitely feels heavier than the Humidigi Power that I'm using right now. Um, but the case itself uh, feels a lot different than the old version case that they have. Um, it feels it's a matted uh, finish. I don't know if you guys can see the detail here. If I can close up here and focus it a little more. So it's got a matte feel, like a checkerboard feel, comparing to the old one where it just feels like kind of thick leather kind of feel. So obviously there's no fingerprint uh, because the fingerprint's on the side. So I bought the blue version of this phone and let's see it. Let's get rid of the case. So the case itself is uh, still made of fairly good material um, comparing to the last, the previous cases that we've got for the human. got a pretty nice feel to it. It feels like glass. Um, so it's got like a whoa, really shiny, cool looking to this. Um, the front, obviously, is the uh, 6.53 inch display. Whoops, I think I peeled it off some of the um, screen protector that they already put on. Um, so let me try to press that down a little bit. So get rid of the bubbles. So here I powered it on. And I will, you know, post a video after several days of use and let you guys know um, how this phone works and uh, we'll let you know. So we'll continue with the other unboxing. This is the uh, just the manual, user manual. The charging cable, uh, obviously US, USB type C cable. Uh, USB type C. And then got the US charger break which is I believe is the same one as the Humidity Power with the 18 watt charger. Now if you can focus here uh, 18 watt charger uh, 2 amp so it's probably going to charge around the same speed as the Humidity Power that I have right now so I'm going to set up the phone and I'll keep you guys so I just turned it on and this is what it looks like uh, the boot up was pretty quick um, as you can obviously tell is uh, Paleo P70 with 6 gigabyte of RAM 
so it should you know f fly through apps with um, flying colors um, as you can see the hole punch is not too bad uh, you can kind of see that there's little well I didn't see any um, any deterioration of the color around the circle um, and here's a close look uh, it's, everything on the bezel looks good um, the bezel and the chin is really slim uh, as they advertised uh, it is on the thicker side of the phone uh, when I f feel it maybe just the way they did the corners um, how flat it is instead of being uh, if I can focus this focus this right yeah so the way they did it is pretty flat instead of having more of the curve feel so when you hold the phone from the back it feels like it's a lot wider when you hold it um, comparing to the power power 3 uh, but obviously you know this phone it is bigger with the 6.53 diagonal display uh, but it the display is beautiful uh, it's really uh, the color is very solid and clear um, it's definitely you know not super AMOLED but you know for HT full HD plus 1080 that's a uh, really good for uh, spec um, Android 10 so I'm gonna set this phone up and um, you know we'll give a test but for now we can test you know the basic um, app on the on the camera so let me see if I can pull up the camera app here I guess you need to enable the location uh, allow so here we go the camera app so they say there are four different cameras they can take really close photos so let's just give this a try um, so here's the oh wow, it's auto focusing pretty well as you can see here let me focus it right here on the phone so as you can see you can see the letters slowly adjusting focusing to the words as you get it closer and closer and it's still very clear um, so let's try to take a picture so it's pretty quick so I took um, three pictures here four, four or three pictures and let's try to zoom in Not bad, not bad. Um, I would have to go out, you know, to the daylight and take more photos to, to test this out. But you know, overall, you know, this is a, so far is uh, living to standard for the camera. It's definitely a lot better than the Umidigi Power with the focusing on uh, low low light. Even 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 right now, you know, I have um, amp ambient light in here, but uh, the Umidigi Power always have trouble focusing on certain objects but um, yeah so I'll keep you guys posted after I use it for a few days um, and I'll let you know you know what are my what are the pros and cons with this phone for more updates and I will keep you guys posted on this new device that I received from Unity G